and on the other side it is a scepter with two heads one unleashes the plague and the other uh, unleashes the cure so I'm assuming what the person who unleashed it is one of these players that you mentioned and I'm saying this to v Vera uh, nods slowly and says well don't really see who else could uh, mm -hmm. We're always scavenging, or they're always scavenging the earth, trying to find relics that might bolster their status or their chances. Um, as Duetta, she at this point uh, closes her eyes, and something appears in front of you. It is a uh, like a silver disc, um, and says, "Poor." some of your blood on here and it will reveal the location of this artifact. It will not tell you how far it is or what you must get through to get to it, but it will point you in the right direction at the least. I do so. Um, it points towards the uh, southeast. Take a quick look at the world map. <laughs> well, it's um, either Valshir or Vinande. Or maybe further beyond. Ah, Dark Continent. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, well, you I said mean, southeast? Southeast. Yeah. I mean, there is a god that we know that we can earn the favor of, perhaps he can just snap his fingers and uh, give you the staff. But the god doesn't have the staff right now. Mm. But he is a god. He, he is, is a god. The evil. The person who has the staff is a god? No, 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 no. the person who can get the staff for us is a god. We... Wait, are you guys talking about uh, that Delmar? Dude? Yeah, Delmar. 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 This might even be, well, considering who has the staff, this may be out of his control, Maybe. his influence. Yeah. It might. Who would stand to gain from killing all the dragons? And I'm asking this to the silver dragon or anybody who could answer. She, um, looks towards you. I have been slumbering. I prefer to slumber in these uh, quiet days. My adventures and my story is bound to close soon. I do not know the happenings of the world. It is news to me that this plague has reemerged. I do not know who stands to gain. I'm sure there are many. Uh, the same answer kind of comes from Vera, except uh, it's not that she's slumbering, it's more of that she, she doesn't know. There's a lot of people that stand to gain for having a whole entire civilization wiped out. Uh, their riches, their, their items, their magic. Um, if it's wiped out by something that only targets the uh, people of draconic blood as well, it opens it up to people able to pillage the, the land uh, after all is said and done. Um, there's also the dominion over the mountains that might have uh, gems inside as well. Um, although it's nothing that uh, uh, other kingdoms would be willing to go to war with you guys. And that is why the only real way to eradicate the, the dragon race is through something like this, especially because their population is so condensed. Mm -hmm. If anyone else has questions? Mm, I don't, but if anyone does, they should speak now. Um, Petro? Yeah, I'm trying to think here. Alright, well, I'll give you some time. I kind of elbow Leary a little bit and wishing for us. Maybe she could <laughs> answer I mean, some questions. I mean, Sila wanted to meet this dragon. Yeah, our two yeah. dragons go on ahead. Yeah. Uh, they both kind of step forth. Uh, um... 
as Duana looks down upon the upon them and says, a silver and a black. It is a rare combination to see two of them traveling and fighting alongside each other. Uh, she looks down towards uh, Leary uh, and says, although I do not feel that your blood is purely black. Um, and she looks down towards uh, Sila and says, nor is yours purely white. Um, and you are connected in this as well. Uh, sisters of sort. Uh, and she... The white silver dragon, she shows like a slight grin. Um, and Leary and Sila kind of like look at each other a little bewildered. But uh, essentially what she is saying is that Sila and Leary are sisters. Hmm. And that their parents are this one and the same. Although, she continues, I do not know if you, your parents are what uh, your origins are. Yep. Um, yeah, what? I, I was reading his, like, uh, his thing. It's both parents, or...? No, she doesn't know. Uh, she simply knows that their blood is the same. Maybe it's just one, maybe it's both. But there is definitely one silver and one black, which makes a situation even rarer that something like that can happen. Hmm. As Duana, the Sandoven Kingdom marches upon these mountains, and they look to commit a great great travesty then we should go and stop them any advice on how to do so mm. talk with their leader you have uh, she looks towards uh, uh, Vera you have one of the, those creatures with you they will be able to uh, use their silver tongues to persuade them Avira kind of like looks a little unhappy with the like I guess the way the the tone changed a little bit to where you you kind of feel that the uh, Asduana has a little bit of a distaste for that race. Understandable. What will you do with all your treasure in your passing? She uh, looks towards you. The treasure will stay in my lair. Or maybe it will be eventually pillaged, as that is something that usually happens. I'm is sure. there anybody you would like me to give it to as a kind of birthright or inheritance? No. If one of my children wishes to come and take the treasure, they must do so on their own. Otherwise... Do they know where you are? No, but I am reclusive. And I do not wish to reveal my location to many. You have been the first in many, many years to come and visit. Okay. Is there any treasure you would like us to take with us? <laughs> she, she says... Um, Perhaps a giant magical sword? <laughs> she, she Maybe laughs. a mirror shield. She laughs. My, my treasure is paintings and that of artistic talent. There is nothing here that you would find useful. Is Charlight on money? Is her own treasury lacking? No, I have my own magical giant sword. She, Mitchell she, perks up. Well, I am a man of very fine taste. <laughs> she, this is true. Then when I am when I have perished, you may come and take what you will, but all this will stay with me until my time has passed. Well, um, as one, I should have like a question for you. And I got a motion arrow to come with me. Like, you know. Yeah, Errol's kind of been like hanging out at the back a little bit. Uh, intimidated yeah, I just by the motion her. Yeah, but uh, I give her like a, a nod that conveys, you know, it's okay, come with me. 
she steps forth a little bit and yeah. she, she comes with you. She's kind of hiding behind yeah. you, though. No, no, I like take her by the shoulder and by my side now and walk forward. She, she's like, no. <laughs> and I say, uh, when you look upon this child, what do you see? She, I know she holds special, a special aura, aura around her, but uh, has not been able to find out exactly what it entails, what her uh, ascendance is. Um, she, her eyes kind of glow a little bit as she gazes upon Errol, and she looks back upon you. She, her bloodline goes way back, closer to the origins of her species. That is most likely the connection that uh, she has, and that is why she is so powerful. It's nothing to do with her parents. It's simply a power that has been resting in her blood, has reemerged either because the time is correct or because it has been forced out during birth. Mm. Um, Errol is kind of like shivering a little bit as he, as you're making her stand in front of this humongous dragon. She's kind of doesn't really know what to do, especially with I, her hands. And she's like, you know, putting it in her, pack, in her pockets. And I was like, eh. I, I, I pass her on the shoulder and, not, and whisper, you can go Okay. She, she like quickly steps backwards. Um. Hmm. What can I ask her? Well, the next thing I, I want to ask her anything. Um. I guess uh, Feyre at this point steps forth uh, then and she kind of looks up towards the, the dragon and she says, uh, hello, um, I'm Feyre. And she kind of gives a little, a little wave. Hi, uh, Feyre here. Yeah. She says, what's, uh, my, my brother went beyond the temple in the dark continent. Do you know what's on the other side? Um, and again, the silver dragon's eyes kind of glow a little bit, and uh, she does a slight head nod and says, well, the first continent that has passed, that is the warring kingdom of the Yirushan. And past that, there are others as well. And she kind of like rests her her head down. That won't come into play for a little while unless you decide to cross over. But the continent itself will 